Hello everybody, my name is Mihai Sood from Tip Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be solving equations, but with fractions. So, let's roll the clip. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be solving equations, just like we did in the last video. Except, in this one, we're going to be having a bunch of fractions and a bunch of decimals. So, let's take this first example. So, as we know, we want to take this value and put it on the other side. So we're left with just a variable on one side. So we write 1 half x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 minus 5. This would be equal to 1 half x is equal to negative 5. So how do you think we would solve this? Well, the obvious thing to do would be multiplying everything by 2 to get rid of this to get rid of this fraction under here. So we're left with just 1x. So if we multiply everything by 2, we would get x. So 1 half x times 2 is equal to negative 5 times 2. So this is equal to x is equal to negative 10. And there we go. We've just solved one of them. <coughs> so in this one, we have no new concepts to the last video. So I challenge you to solve this one by yourself. Okay, so now let's go through it. First thing to do would be putting all the variables onto one side. So here we have minus 1.15y. If we want to put our variable on the left side, we would have to add 1.15y to both sides. So we would just get rid of it from here and we would add it here. So 2.3y plus 1.15y, this is equal to 3.45y, plus 6.9 is equal to 13.8. So all we've done is we've taken it to this side and flipped the sign. Or you can view it as we've added 1.15 to both sides, just like this. So now we need to finish adding the values to the right side. So in this case, we need to subtract 6.9 to both sides. So we get rid of it from here, and we'd subtract it from there. So minus 6.9. which is just 6.9. So we have 3.45y is equal to 6.9. So now we need to divide 3.45 from both sides because, let me just rewrite this here, because we want just y. So if we just divide 3.45 from both sides, we get y is equal to 6.9 divided by 3.45. Just like that. <coughs> If we were to solve this, 6.9 divided by 3.45, we 
we would get that it's actually equal to 2 because 3.45 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. So 0.45 multiplied by 2 is equal to 0.9. 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6. So this is actually equal to 2. So we can say y is equal to 2. Anyway, if we move on to this thing over to the right, we have a bunch of fractions here. So the way I like to solve this, you could you could solve it as we did as we did do over here. You can convert this x by 4 to 1 by 4 times x and start solving it like we did here. But the way I would solve it is I would multiply everything by 3. So if we multiply everything across the board by 3, we would get x, because this goes away, so it's just 1x, minus 2 by minus 2, because we're multiplying by 3, so just minus 2, would be equal to 3x by 4, 3 times x divided by 4, because this does not go into 3, so we just multiply it by 3, so 3x divided by 4 plus 1. So now you see that we've already simplified it by a reasonable amount. Now all we have to do is just multiply everything by 4, which would get rid of this fraction. So we would get 4x minus 8 minus 8 is equal to 3x plus 4. So all we've done is multiply everything by 4. And now you see we can just we can just um, solve it as normal without any fractions or decimals. So we have to subtract we have to subtract 3x from both sides to make this x. So that gets rid of this. And if we subtract 3x, that just leaves x from this side minus 8 is equal to 4 equal to 4, just like that. And then we just have to move all of our constants to the other side. So this minus 8, we add 8 to both sides, so it's equal to x. So, so we've added 8, there's no more 8. 4 plus 8. So it's x is equal to 12. And that's it for equations with fractions and decimals. So I'll see you in the next video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the button down below to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.